Um, a good opening match. Uh, but we move right along in our next matchup. We have Evan Glassgold up against Jonathan Lopez, 155 pound blue belt matchup. Evan in the teal top <laughs> up against Jonathan who is in the blue shorts. And we are underway. Evan out of Vanguard, one of several competitors out of Vanguard today, up against Jonathan Lopez out of 302 BJJ. Hey, oh, you see almost like a jumping guillotine there from Jonathan. Didn't quite work because you saw, uh, you know, Evan was a little high in his stature. We might, we might be able to call this uh, a battle of the short kings here <laughs> inside the circle. <laughs> hey, but we're seeing a lot of great hand fighting here. You know, in the collar ties, you see some trips happening. You know, you saw Evan really trying for that body lock. So a lot of different looks that they're giving from their wrestling styles. And again, since this is an amateur match, it's a four-minute match, so less than three minutes are left to work. They've done a minute here standing on the feet. Right, so you see Evan with double unders, nice and he went double. right to the double. Great Beautiful. shot there. Jonathan looking to use that wall, though, to help him on the way up. Prevented that takedown from potentially maybe going fully. Did stop from getting to a dominant position, so when they go out of bounds there, start back on our feet. Great shot, though, there by Evan. Yeah, it was a great use of that, you know, double unders, just dropping right to that double leg, you know, especially up against the wall, because that's one of the things here that they can use. They can use that wall um, in their match. So instead of, you know, them going out of bounds from a double leg, he was able to utilize that. You know, it's close the distance a little bit sooner because the wall's right there. D definitely a contrast here from our last match taking place on the ground. This one almost entirely on our feet at this point as we hit the halfway point. About two minutes remain here. Hey, some guys really want that Dou top position. Double unders. Oh. Jonathan doing good, though, to lower his level with the double overs there. Yep. Create that space, prevent any big throw. Yeah, he's keeping those hips back really low when he got the double unders that time. So there was going to be no double leg that time. Felt like Evan might, was going for something big there. It looked like he was building up for a throw. Inside trip attempt from Jonathan. Evan looking to change it up. Yep, with only a minute and a half left. I mean, you, you, you got to get it to the ground here somehow. So both, both uh, definitely skilled on their feet, which a lot of times it either creates a lot of excitement or neutralizes and it's hard to get down. Yes. They both want to be on top, so someone has to concede. Evan said, you know what, fine, I'll play off my back, see if it works out for him. Both minute, minute 10 here to work. Yep, especially with only have four minutes to work, you know, Absolutely. if you're spending almost two and a half minutes over half of the round on your feet, you know, you're giving yourself less time to work when it actually ends up on the ground. So, you know, you see Evan trying to work maybe like a butterfly guard. Now you see Jonathan really trying to pass. So now he's in this half guard position. Jonathan's trying to stay a little heavy, a little bit of pressure here. Oh, but I think he's going for like an Ezekiel almost, but you see Evan was... Explodes there. Oh, yeah. Create some space looking at that leg. 30 seconds to work. Yep, he's trying to work into that uh, straight ankle lock there, so he's able to get the sweep off of it. That Vanguard corner's getting excited. Yeah, you saw, you saw Jonathan. He's doing the right thing. He's putting his foot to the mat so that even if Evan does get this straight ankle, he can't really do anything with it because Jonathan's foot is directly on the mat. But now he drops to the side. And if he goes belly down with it, he's going to have that really tight. Four That's going to be four seconds. Jonathan oh, looks up I at think the it's going to hold on. It, holds on, and we go to overtime one. A little feeling uh, each other out here to begin there, but an exciting last minute and a half there. Yeah. All right, can't wait to see what these guys do in overtime rounds Jonathan here. Jonathan wins the toss. I 
believe he's taking the back. And he is. Yep, here is Corner giving all the right advice to him before he even starts. And we're underway. All right, so you see Jonathan maybe trying to get in that body lock, but doesn't quite have it. I mean, Evan could really use it. He's trying to step over that foot while he doesn't have that body lock in. Now he's trying to slide out to the side, trying to get his shoulders to the mat. His hips are out. He got, but does he have his nope paper to pop oh. his head out? And there's the escape. Jonathan, a, a good try there to try to apply that choke in at the last second. Not able to get it, though. Evan with an escape there. Uh, putting the pressure on Jonathan for his turn. Evan will be taking the back here. Ride out or submission will win. Jonathan needs to find that escape. And we are underway. Okay. Again, trying to get that body lock in, not quite there. Basically, Jonathan doing the right thing and falling down to the lock side. Right. It looks like he broke that lock. Uh, lock's still there, I think. It's hard to tell. Oh, no, from he our did. Angle. Okay. He did. He broke the lock. He's trying to slide his hips 30 out. 30 seconds. Slides away, and he right. finds the escape. Both in about roughly the same amount of time there. Both find that escape. So we head to overtime number two. Three minutes here in overtime number two. First to a dominant position will win backside or mount. And we start from neutral and find that dominant position. It, this was a pretty even space, only one takedown there in that open period. So it will be interesting to see as we start overtime two. Yeah, as these are modified ADCC rules, so first to score basically wins. So, you know, if you can get that takedown and get into that dominant position like side control, you know, that'll get you the win here. Three seconds to claim that dominant position as well. Nice. Ooh, nice little trip. He was able to regain his balance there. So I think we're going to see almost most of this match is going to be on the feet because mm -hmm. they neutralized it earlier. So a good, oh, good shot. Nice. Great hips from Jonathan. Wow. Able to avoid that takedown. Nice shot. Even better defense. Back to the center. Evan looking for his first win here inside the circle. Jonathan looking for that debut win. Yeah, especially at blue belt level. You know, these guys have a lot of really great wrestling, so you're mm -hmm. not trying to see them doing the Ooh, same shot thing. shot from Jonathan, but Evan stuffs him. I would say Evan uh, looks like he has that wrestler background growing up. Jonathan, based on his stance, I wouldn't think he's a wrestler, but he's definitely training it because those hips, oh, very yeah. good stuffing with those hips. But based on the height of his stance, I'm going to go with probably not the first uh, introduction as he goes for flying squirrelish <laughs> attempt there. Yeah, you see, like, he's doing a lot more of, like, the, the straight-up trip. So he yeah. might have a little bit of a gi background, you mm -hmm. know, because they use those trips a lot in judo and everything, where they stand really tall, they get some grips, and they go for those trips. And so it's very different styles between the two of them, um, but, but it's really fun to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so you see kind of these... Uh, Double unders by Evan. I don't think he's really going to get anything out of that. Oh. Outside sweep. Oh, looking to change it up up against the wall though. It's a nice little single leg. Jonathan oh, he's got the ankle. Use that wall. Stuff in the head right. nicely. Almost. Oh. And we go and out of bounds. Out. Good shot attempt again. Great, great attempts. He's getting in deep, but Jonathan is definitely recovering very quickly and very well. It's impressive to recover the way he is after Evan is getting in really deep on these shots. Minute to work. Vanguard reminding Evan of that stall rule, can't get pushed out. Definitely not in overtime, you don't want mm -hmm. that. Lose your choice. Yeah, you see Jonathan really going for those heavy overhooks, you know, hopefully maybe like to maybe lead to like a trip or something like that, like an Uchimata or something, but you know, Evan's pretty much neutralizing that as well. Oh, nice little trip as well. Evan able to recover. Yeah. Now with double unders. Oh. Single leg shot. Jonathan, He's stuffing the head. The head well. 
steps over. Oh, into this nice. Oh, I don't think. I yeah, think, I don't think it's, it's it was a there. no arm like yeah. reverse triangle. Short time. Uh, Evans got to Evans got to go. Oh, and that is time overtime. Too exciting, but not even once do we get to the <laughs> mat there. But definitely exciting work. Big breath out of the corner of Evan. Both. Both breathing heavy, both feeling this time as we head to overtime three. Evan right. wins choice. All right, so this is a great matchup between these guys. So we've got this third round of overtime. So now here's EBI rules again, but the time does Absolutely. count this time. We, we'll keep an eye on the clock here as that escape time does matter. Back to the back for Jonathan. I believe Evan deferred there because he wants to see what he has to do. Mm -hmm. Potentially smart strategy in this. Yeah, cause with, with one round, you know, it's... If he escapes early, he could hold on. If the other guy gets a submission, maybe he might work and you know exactly change what it. You have to do into the next one. Yep, exactly. It's good gameplay. All right, so he's got his hips free, but you but see, John. He, he does. He does. He's got, he's got he a head and arm that. choke working. So, but he's able oh. to fight that off, and there's the escape at 38 seconds left. So 22 seconds there for the escape. Jonathan. Jonathan will have to escape within 22 seconds. Twenty-two seconds. He has until there's 38 on the clock to escape. And we're underway. Jonathan needs a quick escape here. Yep, so you see Jonathan already trying to push off the foot, maybe get his hips out. I mean, if Jonathan could push that foot off, he could slide his hip out because you see Evan didn't go for Short the body time. Oh. And there it is, that is the ride out. Evan able to maintain control long enough. Winner by ride out in the third overtime. We don't get third overtimes often, but when we do, they are exciting. <laughs> yeah, this was definitely an even matchup. It was really fun to watch between these two guys. So congratulations, Evan, on his first win in the circle here. Absolutely. Got it. Got to love that he was here with that dominant Vanguard team last time. Only one on his team not to find the win last time out. <laughs> so definitely gets the monkey off the bat. Feels better about himself. Good first win there for Jonathan, uh, for Evan. Good first appearance for Jonathan there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely proved himself. Excited to see him back here in the circle.